So let's go into Affinity Designer and make a new document. And what I want here is I want to do 13.3 by 13.3 inches at 300 dots per inch. Let's click create and let's place in that Bronco image. And this Bronco image is low resolution. It's only about 1600 pixels across. So what we're going to want to do is scale it up. Now this actually isn't changing the pixel resolution. To change the pixel resolution and scale this up, what we need to do is go to Layer Rasterize. So the image is degraded a little bit anytime you scale up your image, but that's okay because we're gonna do so much manipulation to this image that it's not gonna matter. The next thing I wanna do is let's make a clipping path. So what we wanna do here is let's use the pen tool and let's just start drawing a path around the edges of this Bronco. And I'm just gonna speed this part up so you don't have to watch me draw these paths. But drawing paths, it does take a lot of practice. And what you wanna do when drawing these paths is use the least number of points possible while drawing it. That'll help you get the best look to get your points right. And you can go in and drag some of these handles around to correct things as you're going. And whenever you're drawing a curve, you can just click and drag that point. And if you need to make a hard corner, just click on that last point that you drew and that'll make that corner sharp. Now, what I wanna do here is instead of drawing around the bottom of the Bronco, I'm actually gonna use some of this drop shadow that you see here under the vehicle. So let's just extend our paths kind of around where that drop shadow is. And then you'll get to the base of the tire that's hidden by the curb here. And let's just draw our path in as if we could see that tire. And again, I don't want to draw out any of this drop shadow because we're going to use that. So I'll just go to say about right there and then draw in this tire. And the next thing we need to do is see under the border rack here where there's some open space. We need to draw those paths out too. So now let me turn off the visibility of that photo. And you'll see here that we have three curves. The bottom one is the main outline. And then there's kind of like the donut holes that are cut out from this roof rack here. So let's select all these curves. And then we're gonna use this Boolean operation right here. Just click that and that turns it into a compound path. And what we can do now, let's turn the Bronco layer back on and we can drag the Bronco up and now it's clipped out by those paths. 